Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel where I make videos about recruiting, internships, and success. I'm Bihan and today I'm going to be reading my Common App essay which got me into a bunch of schools including Stanford, Princeton, UPenn, Duke, Caltech, Rice, UT Austin, and Georgia Tech. I know with COVID and with everyone staying home, a lot of rising seniors have been thinking about starting their Common App and thinking about how to write their Common App essay. Mine is just one example, so don't feel any pressure to make yours similar to mine. You should make yours unique to you, but feel free to get some inspiration from this. Also, there are different supplemental essays for the different schools that I apply to, so if you're interested in hearing those, Comment below which ones you're interested in hearing about and subscribe so you don't miss them. Anyway, so on to the essay. I chose the first prompt, which is also the most common prompt that's written. The prompt is, some students have a background, identity, interest, or talent that is so meaningful they believe their application would be incomplete without it. If this sounds like you, please share your story. So I chose this and I think around 50% of applicants choose to write this. And it's a good idea to write this prompt, I believe, because you can really write about anything and it's the least limiting of the different prompts. In my Common App essay, I really wanted to tell a story about my interests and my passions and how some of the non-academic parts of my life really influenced how I think and what I do. So the overarching theme of my Common App essay is how Star Wars influenced me to pursue both engineering and martial arts and how those three combined into some of my biggest passions now. So here's my essay. As I walk through the automatic doors of Sage Hall, I subtly wave my hand, using the force to open them. Tackling deviously like my favorite Sith Lord, I stride swiftly to my computer science class with my mind in hyperspace. As a child, Star Wars stole my imagination and has captivated me ever since, shaping my greatest interests, engineering and martial arts. The trilogies dared me to dream of incredible, impossible ideas. Flipping the crisp pages of Star Destroyer schematics, I marveled at the combustion engines, wondering how I could develop spacecraft components. With the ambition of one day engineering my own creations, I pursued research in computational chemistry. Months spent in my research lab at the University of North Texas were full of exploration and discovery, and I plan to use the techniques I've mastered to create equipment to detect impurities in commercially synthesized chemicals. I envision the scent of hydrazine and the glare of fluorescent lights encouraging me to create new environmentally friendly spaceship fuels for vehicles that can one day reach galaxies far, far away. Though my aspirations have evolved to chemical engineering, my juvenile delight remains. The first time I saw Darth Maul perform an aerial flip while fighting two Jedi, my pupils dilated into cavernous black holes. With my 10-year-old heart racing, I begged my parents for martial arts lessons. Taekwondo became part of my daily life, a vigorous solace and an escape from my mundane routine. On the sweat-stained sparring mats, I executed each strike with the precision of a Jedi and the ferocity of a Sith, felling opponent after opponent. The exhilaration of connecting the scenes on screen with my performance off screen further propelled my internal desire to fly. Flips I'd once pour over with curiosity were now my reality, and years of breaking boards and band-aiding splinters were years of indulging my own imagination. I aspire to master the Jedi's calm under pressure, and my black belt journey helped me handle new challenges in both my physical and intellectual life. It's my hope that every new generation of young, impressionable minds will see the fall of the Empire and have their imaginations awakened as I did. Even as I grew older, the enthralling stories had a significant influence on my life, pushing me to broaden my horizons. Although I enjoyed the first few years of high school, I felt that something was missing. I longed for a challenging environment, one my previous high school wasn't providing. So before my junior year, I applied to the Texas Academy of Math and Science, an early college program. I was initially conflicted about leaving home early, but as my eyes roamed my interview room, 
Seeing Luke Skywalker figurines and Darth Vader posters helped me realize that I could belong here. Now I channel the mental discipline I acquired from Taekwondo every time I adapt to a new challenge. Star Wars motivated me to pursue engineering and martial arts, which are now my passions. It's been eight years since the Force first kindled my interest, but I still occasionally indulge in reruns. Regardless, although my obsession has settled, my interest in Taekwondo and research remains. During long nights in my lab, the stamina I develop from sparring manifests in the hours I pour into my work, and I refuse to settle until there's nothing left to refine. My intellectual and fantasy worlds merge in a maelstrom of computer programs, tornado kicks, and Star Wars marathons. In each I live and from each I learn. I can speculate where the trilogy will go, just as I can speculate where my future is headed, yet I realize that it's okay not to know all of life's answers. While I wait for the upcoming episode to be released in theaters next December, I remain the director, screenwriter, and chosen one of the next episode of my saga. So that was my common app essay. Now, if you're also interested in learning how to get into Stanford specifically, or how to get an internship with no experience, I highly recommend watching my videos right here. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment what you'd like to see next, and subscribe so you don't miss any content. And as always, I appreciate you for watching and have a great day.